as for now, we are moving on to our guest focus of the day. And joining Oliver and I in the studio is one of the top artist managers in Nigeria. That is no other than Aisha Ode. She's right here with us, and she's going to be giving us all the ins and outs, all the tips and tricks, and more. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Good to have you. Mm -hmm. Hello. Welcome back. You're, I know you're not based in Nigeria. Hardly ever in Nigeria in South Africa. So what brought what brought you home this time around? And how long are you We're looking for money. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no money in Southie. Well, there is, but you know, it's, it's, this is like my base. You know, this is where I know a lot of people. So I was just trying to like, okay, let's see the market. What's going on here? Then and once I've gotten all that, I might be here, I might be there. I can still shuffle. So I said the nice. same thing. Nice. Nice. How many artists are you currently managing? Um, currently with two. Are they here or in SA? No, one has moved to London. Okay. And one is in Nigeria. Okay. And PR management as well. Okay. So let's talk about um, deciding to become an artist manager. What does it entail? Now, we're asking this because there are a lot of young people who decide that they want to be artist managers. At some point in my life, I've always felt like much later in my life, I'll become an artist manager. But now I'm too pre preoccupied with pursuing <laughs> my own interests. Uh, okay. So I, I don't know if I'd be fit to pursue someone else's interests. So what does it entail to become an artist manager? Well, it really, the, the, the major thing first is to have the passion for it. Because if you ask me, if anybody had told me, okay, you're going to be in the music business, I would like, are you joking? Because I'm not even, this is not even my line in any way. So first of all, it was just the passion for music. And also the fact that, okay, you have the, you have the, the gift of, you know, putting things in place. So an artist management is just putting things in place, basically, but in a, in a different field, not like the general lifestyle of, okay, I'm just doing this thing. So it's just the normal thing to me. So if you're saying what it entails, you just have the passion for it and be strong enough and be patient. That's okay. what I'm saying. What about passion for the artist as exactly. well? Exactly. It's part of it. Yeah, it's part of it because you need, to know, you need to know what you're representing or who you're representing because I cannot be comfortable with someone that I don't even understand your music. Because that's where the PR part comes in. You understand? So if I'm not comfortable and I don't understand your music, how do I explain to the next person, this is what this person's music is actually saying? So if I cannot um, relate um, properly with the public or with people, OK, this is what I'm representing. It's difficult for me to represent you. So it's going to be harder that way. I think okay. the, the, it just reminds me of like, the, they say that the first rule of sale also is being able to sell it adequately to yourself. Yes. Yeah. So if I, cannot, if I cannot it. use it, if I cannot enjoy it, I don't know how I'm going to tell you you're going to enjoy this because you can tell from my from the lines on my face that I'm lying. But mm. if you know that this thing is really, really good, you can tell them, you know what, I give you guarantee if you don't like this thing, return it. So that is kind of, you know, um, um, guarantee you should have that this thing is going to be like this for the next one year and it should be that way. If it's not going to be for one year, you can bring it back. So if I cannot identify with your music, with your brand, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with you. So it's like I'm wasting my time. I don't understand you. Okay, fair enough. Now, often what we find is that a manager and an artist come together, they have a relationship, and they swing right into it, and then they find out that, you know what, we are not that compatible. Now, I've spoken to a couple managers who often say, it takes time before I decide to take someone on. You know, I have to know certain things about that person, and I have to know that this is a project that I want to dedicate myself to. Aside from liking the music that the artist is putting out and knowing that you can market and distribute it, what other key things would you say that you have to look out for when you want to take someone on as a client and actually become that person's artist manager? Um, the first thing I have to look out for is that you have the passion for your craft. You know, it should be something that if I wake you up, you're giving me the same thing that made me, you know, fall in love with your music. Because a lot of people think they want to do music, but they don't know they are not ready. So before even venturing to say, okay, I'm going to manage you, I, do, I used to do that before. Like, okay, let's work together because, you know, they go on your social media, they see things. Because people are moved by what they see. They really do not know what's going on. And you just say, okay, let's work, let's work. And I just say, okay, let's work. But on the long run, you start seeing that these people are not even serious in the sense that they don't even know what the music business is like. They don't know the kind of sound. They don't even know their market. They don't even know their own goals. So it's actually difficult. So the first things first is to have um, a consultation session that I always do with them. First of all, sit with them, discuss with them, ask them questions. From there, you'll be able to define, like, okay, you know what? I don't think you're ready right now. This is what you need to do. You have to touch this. Your music is not that, you know. You have to let them know because the truth is people are afraid to say the truth to these people. 
because they just want to get their money. And that is why they always fall in the wrong hands all the time because the wrong people always have the right things to tell you. Mm. But the people that actually want to work, they are too overwhelmed, you know, by a lot that to, start, to even start explaining to you is too much work. So you're, you're just like, okay, you know what? Just, just work with somebody else. Because I, where do I want to start from? Because there's a lot you need to know. You understand? So once I've had a, a, a meeting with you, I've discussed with you, with your company, okay, I know that, okay, finance, you know, finance is, you know, a major part of everything. Once that is there, the artist is talented enough, you know, all I need to do is just bring the magic in. Okay, this is what we do here and there. And that's it. We get Let's to work. Let's look at some of the most common mistakes that young artists make. In your time working as an artist manager, what would you say are some of the most common things? Now, I've heard someone jokingly say, oh, all these musicians and all these footballers, they've not even released one hit and they have gone to color their hair. Or they've gone to cut their hair into <laughs> one mohawk. And I laughed when I heard that. But that aside, that's just a joke. What would yeah. you say are some of the most common mistakes that they make at the start of their career? Well, the most common mistake is that they already feel like superstars and they let that get into their head. Mm -hmm. And they become too proud. They don't want to listen. And secondly, they think they know it all, and they just misbehave. And thirdly, they listen to anybody that just comes their way, all because what they, they, they have small change in their pocket to throw away. So whoever you know, just lies to them, they're, they're listening to everybody. The moment you start listening to everybody, you, you get confused in your head. Mm. Because if you want to look at it, there's so many artists that even have siblings in this industry. But everybody's level is different. You understand me? So it's not about you listening to this person or because this person knows this person that your career is going to be different. So don't ever get carried away by what you see, especially on social media. You know, there are a lot of people that I know that call themselves promoters, artists, managers. All, this, all these people do is to go out and take pictures with artists. And the next thing, I can manage, I can, and you see these people all falling. But the ones that, you know, are really doing their job, they don't even have time taking all those pictures and, you know, trying to convince you that you can work with you. You understand? So... Those, there's so many common mistakes, but it's so, it's so petty that if, if you want to start talking about them, you know, it's a whole lot. But there's so many un unnecessary things these people do, this mm. upcoming do, and you just have to watch them till they make the mistakes. And, you know, I told you. And then learn from their mistakes, hopefully. By themselves. <laughs> yeah, they have to learn by themselves. Hopefully, Absolutely. we have people that are watching that we would not have to learn from their own mistakes, but we learn from some of the examples that you shared. Amen. Yeah. Because you don't always have to learn from your own personal right. mistakes. You can learn from the mistakes of others as well. Absolutely. Now, it's often also said that once you sign to management, right, you have to put it in your mind that what you're doing now is only really 10% about the music. A lot more is coming into that. There are more factors, and it's not just about you going and creating sound because you are now in the music industry. Aside from the music, what other factors come into account when you actually decide to make this a career that a management actually has to look into, and the artist as well? That's aside the 10%. Aside from the music. Okay, aside from the music. Um, what else could be there, you know, is in making contact, you know, that could go a long way. Contact is very important, you know, relationship with people, because it's not just one person you're going to work with forever. Artists come and go. But, you know, artist manager lasts even longer than us, uh, this artist, okay? So, aside from the music, not every music lasts. So, of, of course, music should not be the main thing you read with somebody because of your music, because a lot of better sounds come every day. Mm -hmm. It's just that a lot of people are afraid to try new stuff. So, aside that, the, the connection, you know, the, ex, the exposure, you get to meet people that you never thought you'd meet, you get to go to places where you never thought you'd be. You know, and you just learn new things, new ideas. You learn every time from these things. So those are other things that I actually enjoy, not even from the music. Most of the time, I don't even have the songs on my phone. That's the, that's the sad <laughs> truth, but it's the truth because it's just the business that, you know, I'm interested in. So if it's really good, I put it on my phone. So that is why I'm really, 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 really very, very strict, you know, the kind of people I work with because if you're not giving music that, you know, is going to last why am I deceiving myself with you? How much is the money that's coming in at, at the end of the day? Yeah. All right, so now let's, give, to be there. let's look at quick tips for people. Not, now we've looked at from the angle of the artist manager. Let's look at the artist. If you had an artist who was about to go into some sort of management, what are some of the advice you would give the person? Now, taking note of the fact that we have several incidences of artists and record labels falling out, artist and artist manager falling out. So what are some of the things that the artist should take note of? Okay, first of all, you need to understand that music or um, music or um, what I call, is it contract or signing, you know, you should, you should understand that it's the business. 
don't because of out of um, okay oh I need to be signed I need money to push my you just enter into any kind of agreement sometimes they don't even know what they are they are, they are agreeing to they just agree because they were so desperate at, at that time so as an artist or as an upcoming artist you, the first thing you should think of is okay what's what am I signing what contract is this what is this saying am I selling my soul am I imprisoning myself mm -hmm. Not that when the going is good, you now start looking around you and like, oh, I actually signed this. Oh, I don't think I'm doing this. You start feeling too big because at the end of the day, you feel like you feel like 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 you are not appreciative of the person who picked you when nobody had belief in you. So most of the times, when I see artists, companies, you know, falling out, I'm like, when when it was bad, these people were very humble. But most of the time, these artists, you know, they they do not appreciate because at the end of the day, no matter what, people who believed in you when nobody believed in you should. You know, you should never, you know, even no matter, even if they're at fault, you shouldn't come out, you know, and, you know, call them out and cause issues because... So more like bite, not biting the finger. Yeah, so just, you. just, I would just advise that they should just let it go, you know. What I would add to that, if I were to ask, is as a lawyer, I would advise that before you sign any, before you get into any agreement with any manager, please make sure that you get a contract and get a lawyer to look through the contract. Get that Sometimes contract out better. of desperation, <laughs> yeah, people just sign contracts that will bind them for 10 years mm -hmm. or seven years. Or and then when you realize that you've blown, mm. you realize that you made a big mistake signing yeah. that contract. Absolutely. So ensure that you do not sell yourself short. It ties down to our earlier mm. myth or fact. Selling yourself short will not necessarily make you look good. Yeah. It only makes you look desperate. It makes you so get a lawyer to cheap. sign your contract. Absolutely. Exactly. Thank Absolutely. you so much for joining us, Aisha. And how can welcome. people follow you on social media? Um, at Kiki Blaze underscore WC. Kiki Blaze underscore WC -W for all the artist management advice, tips, and tricks that you need. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.